Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the difference between distance and displacement. You should then be able to state what's meant by speed. And finally you should be able to calculate the speed of a moving object. I'm showing you a car moving along a road from point A to point B. The car moves a distance of 500 metres along the road. Now this brings us to a key point about distance. Distance simply tells us how far an object moves. Distance does not involve direction. So all we're saying here is that the car moved 500 metres. We're not saying anything about the direction the car moved in. So because it's got magnitude but no direction, distance is a scalar quantity. Now displacement tells us the distance an object moves in a straight line from the start point to the finish point, And displacement must include the direction of that straight line. So I'm showing the displacement here. In this case, the displacement was 380 meters east. Now, because displacement includes both magnitude and direction, displacement is a vector quantity. Now, the speed of an object tells us the distance the object traveled in a given time. Speed is a scalar quantity because it does not involve direction. I'm showing you the equation for speed here. The speed is the distance traveled divided by the time taken. You're not given this equation in the exam, so you need to learn it. I'm also showing you the triangle for this equation in case you prefer to use that. You do need to be careful though. In physics, the symbol for speed is V and the symbol for distance is S, so don't get them confused. Here's a typical question. A car travels a distance of 260 meters in 20 seconds. Calculate the speed of the car. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, so the speed is the distance traveled divided by the time taken. In this case, the distance is 260 meters and the time taken is 20 seconds. Putting these into the equation gives us a speed of 13 meters per second. Okay, now I'm showing you some typical speeds here and you could be asked these in your exam, so you do need to learn them. Normal walking speed is around 1.5 meters per second. Running speed is around three meters per second. And the speed of cycling is around six meters per second. Now I should point out that these can depend on several factors. For example, a younger, fitter person will generally be able to achieve a faster speed than an older or unfit person. The speed also depends on the terrain. For example, people move more rapidly on flat ground rather than moving uphill. And finally, the speed depends on the distance traveled. People who are running a long distance tend to run faster at the start when they're less tired. Now, you could also be asked to state other speeds as well. So I'm showing you those here. These are also worth learning. A car on a main road has a speed of around 13 meters per second. A fast train in the UK has a speed of around 50 meters per second. And a cruising aeroplane has a speed of around 250 meters per second. Now, sound is much faster than all of those. A typical value for the speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. However, the speed of sound in air can vary. For example, sound travels faster on warmer days than cooler ones. It's really important to understand that the speed of a moving object is rarely constant. For example, a car slows down and speeds up at different points during a journey. But to make calculations easier, we tend to calculate the average speed over the total length of the journey. Now, if we go back to a previous equation, we can rearrange this to calculate the distance traveled by an object moving at a constant speed. The distance in meters equals the speed in meters per second multiplied by the time in seconds. And again, you're not given this in the exam. So here's a question for you. A car is moving at a constant speed of 12 meters per second for eight seconds. Calculate the distance traveled by the car. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, to find the distance, we multiply the speed by the time. In this case, the speed was 12 meters per second and the time was eight seconds. Multiplying these together gives us a distance of 96 meters. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on speed and distance in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 